Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Out of Spec podcast. Again, calling in from Las Vegas at ACT Expo, all about advancing clean transportation. Today, we are talking to Kim Power again, Adam specifically, about megawatt charging because we've featured Kim Power before on the channel talking about you know, typical passenger vehicle charging and your solutions there and how you're entering into the North American market. So we're gonna talk about this new offering, get an, give you an update on Kim Power if you're not familiar and then we go from there. Okay, so Adam, of course, maybe we'll start just in case people aren't familiar with Kim Power, they haven't listened to our many episodes about Kim Power. Can you tell me a little bit about the history and especially now you're moving into North America, which is new for Kim Power? Yes, so we just uh, opened a manufacturing facility in Durham, North Carolina about six months ago in December of 2023. Uh, we made the landfall from Finland, so our headquarters are in Finland. Uh, we've been open for seven to eight years there now and uh, have had a lot of success in the Nordics and Europe uh, as a whole. So hoping to bring that success here to the U.S. Yeah, we're hoping you bring it as well. We'd love some more options. And um, you have an interesting approach where the setup of your sites are a little bit different. Can you tell our listeners a bit about that? It might yeah. not be your typical, you know, pull up to an EVgo, Electrify America, charge point, Tesla site, a little bit different. Yeah, so we uh, operate on a dynamic distributed architecture. And so we have a centralized power uh, conversion unit. So all of our rectification from the AC to the DC power is done in one unit and it's distributed to a bunch of different dispensers. So all of the power in one cabinet can be shared to any plug on the site. And so that really allows us to share power and make sure there's no dead electrons in the system because really we're just trying to move electrons and, uh, and make sure everything is moving as best as possible. Okay, pretty cool. And we'd love to see more of those sites in America. And I know whenever we post about Kim Power and host a discussion, people are like, okay, well, where can I find your chargers? In terms of those, you know, not the not the MCS system yeah, that we're yeah. about to talk about, where can people find those quite yeah. yet in North America? So we have a lot of behind the fence, a lot of fleet applications already installed today. Uh, our biggest CPO is Zeph. They're based out of the, the Midwest area. So we have about 30 to 40 uh, installs across the Midwest. So Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, and then we are one in South Carolina now and uh, kind of growing as we go. And so uh, look very soon to see in New York City, we'll have some sites go live. So that's gonna be really exciting. All right, you Northerners, eh? Getting some charging. Okay, of course, at the ACT Expo, there's been a ton of heavy duty trucking featured, including the trucks themselves. Of course, we got to talk about the charging. So you are announcing this at ACT, yes. am I right? So MCS, tell me more about what we're looking at here, the all new Kim Power megawatt charging system. Yes, so this is our megawatt charging system. It can output uh, up to 1.2 megawatts, that's 1200 kilowatts. Uh, we announced this at uh, the EV Summit in Europe a few months ago. And so this is our North America introduction to it. We are currently piloting across Europe uh, for different uh, OEMs. The hard part right now is to be able to find a truck that you can charge with an MCS charger. And so those are uh, kind of behind the fence right now that OEMs are testing out and seeing if they are gonna be working, but we're ready when they are ready. Okay, great. And by that, you mean that there's not that many fleets that have yeah. you know, those big heavy duty trucks, but in terms of the standard, this is a different story than the CCS standard in the US that is now going to, you know, the standard is gonna be J3400, mm -hmm. right? North American charging standard. This is a standard across the board, correct? Yes. This uh, sort of. So uh, it hasn't been fully released yet. It's more in the draft phase right now. Charin is writing up a lot of papers on this. I know SAE is, uh, writing some standards on this as well. None of it's officially released yet. They have uh, definitely given some guidance on the communication protocols they'll be using and a few other things, but nothing is officially released yet. So we're a little preemptive to the market and we're willing to adapt to whatever does come out officially. Okay, cool. Yep, always on just the edge yeah. of things, right? So hopefully that you're just able to adapt with whatever the standard comes out and be able to launch this when yep. it is needed. So I know I was talking to y'all earlier, but okay, 1200 kilowatts, that's a lot. Yeah. Right? That's a lot that of power. That is a lot of power. So tell me about how these sites will come up. Will you be able to retrofit sites that exist with Kim Power? Like, what will it be like to put these into the ground and new sites? Yeah. So our standard largest unit is a 600 kilowatt uh, power cabinet. 600 kilowatts is half the 1.2 megawatts. Smart. So we put two of them next to each other, connect them with a few cables, okay. and then supply that with our dispenser here. What's great about having that system is we can attach a MCS megawatt charging uh, dispenser 
as well as our other CCS dispensers on there as well. So we can have NAC, CCS, and MCS all on one system with a dynamic power sharing. So we can share power to the MCS or to the other vehicles. So it's great for opportunity charging and overnight free charging. So we can do everything with just one system. Uh, huge savings on capital expenses. Yeah, interesting. So as a site host, I could have a Compower system that's just for your everyday drivers, pulling in, whatever it is. But I could say, well, in the future, if I want a megawatt charging system, I could technically upgrade to that. Yes, and uh, sites that are installed today are MCS ready. And so all you really need to do is uh, add some cabling and add the suspension and you're, you're good to go. Interesting. Okay. I know that y'all really focus on that scalability portion and kind of that you can adapt to the changing market. So it seems like that does align with this exactly. pretty well. Yeah. We are ready when they are ready uh, once we get some vehicles to charge. Okay. Interesting. So you have this piloted in Europe, not quite in the U.S. yet. Yep. waiting for the market. We're just uh, kicking off a few of the early pilots right now, but okay. more to come on that soon. Interesting. So I can imagine there could be a site that's not only charging large EVs, but yeah. also small EVs, which yes. is something to see. Yeah. Re retail chains are uh, very happy with this right now. Actually, you can charge the vehicles out back and yeah. their customers Feels. out front. So Interesting. it uh, fulfills all their needs, really. Right. Because there's the truck stop model that has been successful in fueling how are we going to kind of maybe mimic what works in the EV charging space? Exactly. Okay. Have you had any conversations with site hosts? Is it looking more like it's that kind of model with the, the fueling stations? Yes. Or? Yeah, okay. it is very popular. We're actually uh, already going through a lot of these site design applications with a lot of customers. Uh, the hardest part in the EV industry is getting the utility power. And yeah. So you got to start that today if you want to have MCS ready in three years even. So getting that utility power is really key in that site layout down today is really important for the success in our future. Very cool. Okay, so at this event, ACT, ACT Expo, there's kind of everyone here doing, is there anything that you've noticed? Are you seeing a trend? What do you think about everyone being here? How important it is, is it that Kim Power is here? Yeah, this is actually my first ACT. So uh, it was a lot to take in when I first walked in, but it's really cool to see all of the technology here. Uh, a lot of people have announced their MCS. Not many people have the distributed architecture with it where they can hook their CCS, their NACs with their MCS. So I think it's really cool that we're here showcasing this uh, new technology. Yeah, super cool. All right, is there anything else at the station? Maybe we can just show, this is what we're talking about. You can come over here, Tom, behind the camera, another Kim Power hero. Um, these chargers over here that, you know, this is what you're gonna see and then maybe you'll see these in yeah, North America soon. We can, we can hope. Yeah, exactly. All right. So I know our audience is always interested in charging and how we're going to, especially the megawatt chargers, because it's such an interesting potential with electrifying large fleets. So I'd love to see more of it. Charging is a whole nother discussion. Have you been doing interoperability testing yet with this? I yes, mean, we have. In Europe, of course, but. So if you're familiar with ChemPower, you're familiar with our movable, our 50 kilowatt unit. Uh, it generally has CCS, Chatamo, or NAX on it. We actually retrofitted that with a MCS plug. And huh. It's more for communication testing with the yeah. OEM. So uh, we're happy to send that to any OEM interested in doing some MCS testing uh, with 50 kilowatts of power. But it looks pretty fun with a uh, big hose on there <laughs> yeah, uh, right? instead of a CCS. Like Interesting. OK, cool. And so if folks want to connect with you about maybe they're a site host or just learning more about Kim Power, how should they reach out? Yeah, um, reach out on LinkedIn or uh, chempower.com is a great place. There's a lot of resources there. Uh, we have a lot of support portals. Uh, I'm a solution engineer there, and uh, we have a solutions engineer portal uh, to reach out for site design specifics or anything like that. And our sales team as well is uh, listed there too. Perfect. Okay. I know y'all will have questions. Let me know what they are in the comments. Thank you for... Thank you, Adam, for yeah. showing us the system of and speaking course. to us and sharing. Can't wait to see these in the ground in North America Same as well here. as some success in Europe. Yeah. yeah. We'll see who will be charging on them first. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And we'll see you next time on the next episode. Thank you. Bye.